Hey guys, today I'm going to be reading, or reviewing, sorry, reviewing the book Queen of Last Hopes, a novel of Marguerite Belanger, and like the title says, this is a novel about Marguerite Belanger, wife of Henry VI of England, and she played a very influ influential part in the Wars of the Roses, also known as the Cousins' War. Um, and this book starts off, it's a novel, and it starts off when Margaret is 15, coming to England from France. She was chosen as a bride for Henry VI because they wanted an England-France alliance because for a hundred years, France was at war with England, so they thought that marriage was the way to to do the, to, I guess, have an alliance. That was how it was done then, and keep, you know, countries, I guess, allied, allies and things like that. Um, having certain countries as allies, they used marriage, people in the marriage were basically pawns and that's how it worked out. And she's only 15 years old and she's probably, she seems more, she's very inexperienced. She's only 15 as I said and she comes as to become Queen of England and it's basically her journey as Queen of England during the time of the Cousins' War. And it basically starts when she's 15 and ends pretty much at her death. And this was a very good read. I could not get behind it at first because of the audiobook narration, but it was really, um, I really enjoyed it once I kind of got past the audiobook narration and was like, I need to finish this. Um, so what I did like about the book, I loved seeing Margaret de Anjou in a more sympathetic light because um, history and other pieces of literature including modern, some modern literature, has not been kind to her. Um, I believe Shakespeare referred to her as the she-wolf, and in some, in some fiction she is seen as this power-hungry maniac. And we really will never know the truth, because this was written at, uh, this whole thing took place when women were not allowed to rule. She wanted to rule as regent for her son whenever her husband, King Henry the Sixth, fell into what probably was depression. So that just wasn't done in England at that time, so we really don't know was she a crazy maniac? Or were these just, was it just, you know, women didn't rule and, you know, this woman is crazy for take, wanting to take power and things of that nature. We, we really do not know. And we will never know. So we just have to, people just have to come to their own conclusions. Now, I loved the relationship between Margaret and Henry, I thought it was really nice. I thought it was just sweet how they just cared for each other and things of that nature. And I'm not really a romantic, but I thought it was really nice. And I loved seeing Margaret in a sympathetic light, like I said before. I thought that was really nice. And this is going to be very nerdy, but I also liked how the, you saw at the very end of the book with the, 
the epilogue that some of the character characters or people were linked at the very end because um, it ends at a really interesting time and so you saw that some of the people were connected and that's just the nerd in me because I've read so much about these particular characters either from biographies or from other works of fiction and I really like that kind of detail I think that that's really interesting to see that and on to what I did not like about the book. I did not like how it was switching point of views. Like it would talk of, be mostly about Margaret of Anjou and through Margaret of Anjou's point of view, but then it would change to the Duke of Somerset and things of that nature. And I didn't really like that. I would have, I would have rather wanted to see the story of the whole complete story of Margaret of Anjou and not have it switch to different characters because I just I just was it was just kind of strange for me and also I could not get pa I could not get I didn't really like the audiobook narration as well I I don't know I just could not get I could not get it I don't know, I just didn't like it as, as much, but that's just me. And um, that's basically it. I really, really enjoyed this book once I got past the cruddy audiobook narration. And it was really interesting to see that Margaret of Anjou threw a different, a totally different light. And that's one of the reasons I read diff about different People, even though I've read about these people before, that's why I've getting into I've been getting into different authors because you see people through a different light, and I really enjoyed that. So I hope you enjoyed this book, and if you if you enjoyed if you have read this, please let me know and. Please just talk about it in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Now, um, please like, subscribe, and share my videos. Bye, guys.